up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here and today we're doing an unboxing or review, whatever you call it, of the new Overwatch Pop. So this is Wave 2, I believe. Um, and I would hold them up to show, but there's kind of big and too many and stuff like that. It's hard to hold. Um, but so first off, we're gonna start with the Diva. Um, so it's D dot or whatever. It says with Mika. So apparently the girl's name is Mika. I never knew that. I just knew the name Diva. Um, so that's really cool. So this is one of the six inch uh, pops. Um, so it's, of course it's really big and stuff. Now I do have a problem with this pop. Um, and I'll talk about that when we get it out of here and stuff. So let's go and open it. Her box, I don't know what's going on. Like the lid doesn't want to stay shut. Like we put it in it just easily falls out and stuff. And so does the bottom and stuff. So that's why also holding it up is kind of a pain and stuff. So I'll pop this open here. And of course, so here's what she looks like out of the box. So this is super cool. And so here's the close-up of her and see, I don't know how this thing, it does open. So here's like the top, there's all sorts of logos on the side of her and stuff. Um, of course, says Mika, says Mobile, Echo Force for the Korean Army. So apparently the suit is Mika and then the girl is D.Va, so I had that wrong there. Then it says Fighting, Blizzard, Entertainment, of course, since um, Overwatch is Blizzard and stuff. So this just looks really cool. This reminds me a lot of the Titanfall pops. Um, but so there's the back with like her booster, like jet things, stuff like, of course, her guns, her robotic leg, or I guess it's robot, so I guess it does have robotic legs. But it does open up, and you can take uh, Diva out. She has a little plastic thing in there. And so this is, of course, the Diva, which she's a little itty bitty tiny pup, which is what I don't like about because obviously she's just like a normal human, so she should be the same size as all the other character pops but she's real small I mean I understand to get her to be able to like fit inside they did the same thing with the um, Titanfall pops they made a little tiny pilot and um, to go into the machines and stuff like that but like I said I don't uh, like this because it makes her real small um, but it's cool though how she like fits in there and can come out and all sorts of stuff um, but I wish again they would have like something in here to like hold her and so like if you do it she falls back and forth so and so yeah, and I don't like that. Um, and it looks like there's kind of a mess up with like the gluing or whatever of the parts together here, but I think it should be fine. Um, so that was Diva, and I think that was really cool. Now we're going to I'm just throwing all this stuff away. Now we'll move on to Reinhardt here. Of course, this is 178 to go with the Overwatch, and again the round two or wave two. Um, and of course, Reinhardt. I know they've made a couple like exclusive versions that look really cool. Um, and these are all uh, bros. Oh, that's kind of funny. Reinhardt is like because we got these at GameStop. So Reinhardt's eighteen ninety nine, and Diva's twenty five. Or what? I don't know. It's just weird that they're different prices and stuff like that. Um, we'll go ahead and get Reinhardt out of here. Okay, so he's super heavy. And so I really like these six inch pops. I think they're really cool. This reminds me a lot of like the um, Hulkbuster um, Iron Man suit and stuff. So here we have Reinhardt. Um, but like I was saying, they have exclusive where he doesn't have his helmet and stuff. I know Bro wants that because it looks really cool, the guy and stuff. Um, so here is, of course, Reinhardt in his like metal ar um, armor. Looks like a knight or something like that. But of course, he's just a really giant. Um, I don't know if he's giant or if just a suit, kind of like Diva, where she's a smaller person inside a suit. I don't know that much, but I know he's giant. Of course, he has a hammer here, which, again, I don't know if there's any names or anything, but it has, like, thruster type things, so I guess that adds some more power to it. And something is kind of shaky. I don't know. Maybe his head. Is it, oh, yeah, it's probably shaking. But it's like something shaky on this thing. But he's really cool because he's a giant point and stuff. And, um, of course, his whole armor suit and everything as you can see and stuff. I don't know what else to like, talk about. I mean, it's got pointy shoes. Um, but he just looks super cool. I love this thing. I think the um, unmasked version though looks really cool as well though. And next up we'll go with 179 and it is Lucio. or Yeah, Lucio, Lucio, something like that. Um, of course he's like a, I think he's like a healer guy. I played him a couple times but I don't really remember much like what he does and stuff. But he's the like rollerblader, skater, and stuff like that, so that's why he has little skates. And he's got the green stuff going off behind him and everything. Then he's got this gun that it's like a, um, shoots like vibrations type thing. I, like I said, I'm sure people watching this probably know a lot more about Overwatch. I've played it a while and I did a video and stuff for it. Um, and I have played him, but I believe this is like, you know, like a speaker and it shoots like a vibration type sound type thing out of there. 
and stuff. So of course here he's got his like see-through glasses. Then of course his dreadlocks with like whatever's on the back of it, which looks cool. And I just um, like this a lot. I love his like outfit. It looks super cool. It's hard to see in the light and stuff like that, but it's just awesome. Lucio I think is always a cool character, but he's for me at least he's super hard to play with as a character. Let's stick him back in the boxes there, and now we'll move on to 180 of May. And of course she's another one that they have. Some various exclusives I think look cool with um, her little ice robots that she has and stuff. And so we got, let's get her out of the box here. And so she reminds me of like Mr. Freeze and stuff. So she's like an ice thing. So of course she has her hair like all up in a bun with some sort of like uh, pin thing with the um, snowflake off of it hanging off of it and stuff like that I just got her glasses and then her like snow Eskimo suit type thing of course with her gun and canister that shoots ice and um, stuff so she like freezes people and everything out of it and so it just looks really cool but like I said I know there's a, um, a uh, exclusive version that has like her little like ice or um, little robot things that come out and then they shoot ice everywhere and like freezes the map I think it looks really cool because it has a lot of like um, what looks like ice stuff around her um, so I think that'd be cool too, but um, it looks like there's some sort of ice sound if you can see in the camera Some ice coming out of the gun there or something like that. But it's pretty cool And she does have a platform to stand on and it's kind of weird because she's uh, like for like the normal female She's like a thicker um, We'll see one next I believe but she's like thicker and stuff so she probably Well sh she's kind of top heavy because of her head But she does have a base but it's got giant peg holes where most of the or normally they're little small holes um, or small pegs and stuff and so that's kind of weird but still cool that they um, threw that in there so if you want to display it you can and then next up we have 181 of Symmetra um, I don't think I've ever played as her I don't remember at least or maybe I have I don't know if I can't remember like she looks familiar and like her whole hand thing that she has which I'll um, show here in a second. She has like the um, little thing in her hand. I remember seeing that, like doing that in the game once. So I probably have played as her once. So here's much. I think she's like a whole like Egyptian type thing maybe. Not exactly sure. Um, of course she has the visor again like Lucio did. And then she of course has these like wing things come off her head. She has a jewel um, in the middle of her hair probably coming off um, her helmet thing here. Then she has jewels again off her earrings. And then she's in like some, well, it looks like an Egyptian style dress and stuff. And then she has those weird, uh, dime, she creates like little like diamond type things in her hands. And she has a robotic arm as well there. And so she has that, of course she does come with a base. Like I said, she has the small body with the small like peg holes and stuff for the base. But then she also has this little thing. I don't know if there's a name. Nope, doesn't say if it comes with anything or not. But she has this little thing here I don't know exactly what it is I was thinking maybe it's like a little robot or something but I don't know but it's like just a little ball with a little circle type thing that just sits next to her I guess um I don't know I figured since they throw it in there it'd be like a character or like a little character type thing with a name or something but there's no name on the box or anything so oh well so I can't get in a box so we'll move on to the last one of this set and this is 182, and it is McCree. So he's like, of course, the Western cowboy. Looks a lot like uh, Clint Eastwood from whatever that one movie is that he's famous for. And so we'll go ahead and pull him out of here and see. This looks super cool. Um, so, of course, he's got a giant cowboy hat on. And it's got bullets and all sorts of stuff, some sort of logo there in the center. And so then um, here he is, of course, he's got his long, like, whatever, like, wavy hair. A um, little beard type thing, a cig or a cigar, or a cigarette, whatever, in his mouth. And then of course he's got his cowboy outfit. And he's got his poncho type thing. He's got of course a belt with um, bullets all over it. And he's got cowboy boots with the spurs on the back of it, and everything. And of course his gun. And it's so, like I said, he's just a very western cowboy, and he does have what looks like a metal arm here. It's hard to see because it's hidden under the. It's about a half metal arm. I don't know if you can see up in there or not. But it's ha um, half metal in here. And then it's like got like a metal or some sort of chest plate on in there too. And so that's where really kind of, again, they have different versions of him. Because with, if you don't know anything about Overwatch, they have, each character has like multiple different uh, costumes that they wear. 
or you can unlock and wear and stuff. And I think they did have a like USA version, so he's wearing all red, white, and blue and stuff. Um, but Bro didn't want that one. He just wanted the normal. So that is it for McCree. And so that's going to be it for all of this Overwatch Wave 2 um, set of pops and stuff that just kind of want to show off and review and everything. So they are out now, so if you want them, you can go find them. I know, like, the Diva and stuff is apparently really hard to find because um, there's something, like, special about her. At least this version, I don't know. I know there's, like, a Blizzard exclusive version of she's, like, all uh, the uh, armor is all black and stuff, black and gold, I think. Um, so you can find that, then of course there's like very, um, various or exclusive versions to each one of these and stuff. But that's going to be it for this review. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below. Hit the red subscribe button to see more, and we'll see you next time.